Okay, hi. Uh, this is our second uh, chronological session, and in this session, I'm going to talk to you about customers. Now, customers are effectively the the ground level entity um, for the the users of the system. So every user is a customer, effectively, if, if they're going to make a booking. Now, you can reuse customers i.e. you don't have to create a new customer if that same customer wants to make multiple bookings but you do obviously need a customer for each uh, user so let's try and create a new customer as I mentioned before this is the quick drop down for the customers so here you can see all the customers that are in the system at the moment if we want to create a new customer the quickest and best way to do it and the way that you'll have to fill in least fields is to go to the quick customer icon over here and just click that. That will bring you up this uh, create form. So that's Mr. Test Video Customer. And you need an email address for the customer, or you won't be able to obviously send them any correspondence. So we'll just put in my email address for now. Now, all the rest of these fields, apart from the country, are not essential, i.e. if you want to really just create a customer with a name and an email address, you can do. Uh, but for the sake of completion, I will put some numbers in here. Just copy and paste that. Unlucky autofill. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this country really is important uh, and it won't let you not pick anything if you try and create it. It will say, please select an item. So if you pick UK, the booking will go out in pound sterling and uh, the default currency will be pound sterling. If you pick any other country, the booking will go out in euros. So you really do need to remember that when creating a customer. So I've filled all my fields out here. Let's create our customer. Click Create. Let's wait for the system to recognize it. Excellent. We've got our customer here. And if we look in the customer drop down, we will see the latest customer is Mr. Test Video Customer. So we can always access the customer by just clicking it like that if we need to make any changes later.